Hello out there YouTube, welcome to the OK Good Review channel. And guys, today I decided to bring you down to Spider Central to take just a little peek here, guys, at some of the stuff in my tower of models, guys. You can see right there, it's almost to the ceiling. And most of this is Ravel. This is one of the few AMTs that I have left to do. Uh, we've got all sorts of different stuff. Got an Aoshima there. Got a Tamiya plane, guys. This will be the first plane that uh, I've ever done, in fact, when I get to that guy. So, I thought that you guys have probably clicked on this video because the thumbnail will tell you what it is. But, guys, so I just thought I'd kind of look at my deliberation here, guys, and see what's been speaking to me. This, um, this Nomad here, guys, I, um going to be honest with you guys. Nomads are cars I've liked for a really, really long time, guys. This one I've been waiting to do for a while because this, guys, we're changing all the colors on it, and it's going to go as a display with Starfire in the hood, and then the other two who are a little bit shorter than her are going to get sand on the roof, guys. So we're going to go with some two-tone work on this. And the idea being that we are going to go with uh, all the blues you see because I, I i use blue a lot or i did use blue a lot at the time guys that i bought this model i thought you know i'd really rather do this in red this car needs to be in red uh we might be changing out those rims from the picture here guys but uh, let's take this thing upstairs and take a look at it all right guys let's take a peek here so this is um part of the california wheel series it's a two-in-one which means you get options 56 Chevy Nomad, which was kind of a station wagon, and you see there's only two doors for it, so, and you can see this looks a lot like the front of the 57 Nomads. I couldn't find a 57, but a 56 will be just fine for my purposes, and you can see here, guys, a lot of two-tone work on this, and I don't think I'm going to be adding all this stuff on the hood. Or on the front fenders. I think we're just going to go straight red and burgundy metallic, guys. And there's the box. And of course, guys, uh, if there is a bigger engine, we will be using that for sure. Uh, it's a 265 that went in here, guys. I don't know if I have any parts to make anything bigger. I, if I could, I'd put a 454 or 396 in it, maybe. So, uh, have a red paint. So we're gonna be shooting testers and model masters. So red metal flake for the red and burgundy red metallic for the darker one. And of course I've got more burgundy red metallic here as well, guys. I usually don't keep these in the boxes. I'm not sure why I did that. I don't recall at the time. The inside of this is gray. I will not be using gray, I don't think. I think probably I need to see if, if all the chrome is there for all the windows, guys. I'm guessing it's probably not, so I need to paint all that. There's a lot of chrome to paint on this if I'm going to do everything. For sure, I'll be doing the, the body panels, probably the windshield. We'll see if those, if the windshield wipers are done. This should be done. This should be done. Uh, most of this stuff should be pre-chromed. The windows, it's a lot of chrome, guys. I might, however, leave it red, just depending on how it looks. This... This back part will all be burgundy. Inside of this stripe here, guys, will all be burgundy as well. So we have a lot of burgundy to shoot. Uh, here we've got, so we've got the front end and we've got the back end wheels. And I'm not gonna open anything in the bags, guys, because shooting this stuff, I need to be super, super, super patient with it. Yeah, there's so much stuff in here. Oh no, guys, look at all this stuff. Look at, look. oh, guys, how did that even fit all in there? Okay, so we have the destructions right here, guys. Uh, feel free to pause here and read about the car if you would like to do that. We've got the shell here, so we need the shell. 
let's dig the shell out right now. As well as anything else we may need to paint uh, the shell. So I don't, yeah, so we're gonna need to, to paint all this stuff here, you guys. A lot of, this is gonna take a while. Uh, we've got the bottom, I might see if I can find a gray issue, guys. And then I'm just gonna do the same color front and back, I think. Uh, what else we got here? Seats, we're gonna go beige. Uh, what is this thing right here? Oh, that's a dash. Dash, of course, will be gunmetal as always. So let's, stuff we're not doing aerosols with, let's throw it all back in there. Uh, we do have white walls. And you guys better believe that this will have white walls. We've got uh, interior door panels right here. And, uh... So those aren't going to be shot. I do need to shoot the hood, however, though, guys. So, uh, what is this? This looks like... Okay, so you can see that part rides underneath there. So this needs to go red right here. And this also needs to go red. So we're going to be shooting red first, guys. And you won't see it in this video, but I'm going to shoot red. I don't need these. You're gonna, we're going to shoot red, guys. And then probably a couple days later... Once it dries, I'm going to mask off the red and then shoot as much as I can as burgundy until I'm spray, until I spray that out. And then I'll just do the rest with either a brush or... I did get an airbrush, guys, uh, for Christmas. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. I may use it on this project. I'm not quite sure yet. And we've got two different sets of tires, I think. Or does, is this like a tube that goes in there? I want to say this is two sets of tires. I'm just going to say it is, and then if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, we've got bumpers. We've got the grill. Probably some Chevy Emblem stuff here. We've got, it looks like a uh, dashboard insert, possibly. We've got the little airplane that goes on there. Good. The windshield wipers are crumbed out. Okay, so that's handy. And we've got more stuff. And wow, there's so much stuff to this. Holy moly. A lot of it's because it's two in one. Okay, so we have the chassis here. Uh, chassis, I'm going to see if I have paid for this. I might do that by hand, I'm not sure yet. That's where I really could use the airbrush because I could just thin down um, one of the paints that I like for that rather than do it by brush. And at some point, I'll probably do that. Looks like we have here taillight inserts. And we have wheels and engine parts here. This looks like a tub for this looks like a tub for the radiator guys. We have another another front end here. Let's see this. So there's two of them. There's two of them. These have wheels mounted too, and this is, looks like brakes and stuff. So why do we? Uh, you know, maybe it goes together. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so guys, I'll probably paint all that by brush. We have the firewall here. Firewall actually needs to go red. Paint that. We have the radiator shroud here. We have the engine. Uh, you know, I've never actually painted an engine using red, like so, uh, but I'm not going to start for this video either. Okay guys, so you know, before I get too much further into here, this is all the stuff I need to shoot, but I need to, um, I need to take a look here guys, and see if I have different rims, because I don't like these rims, I want different rims. Uh, I guess see where the two and one options are here, guys. Oh, okay, stickers. Stickers that I can't really use. It looks like these. It looks like these are for the for like disc brakes. See the disc brake effect. That's kind of cool. We got some stuff here for the dash. Get rid of that. Okay. And let's just take a look here. Let's do this real quick and see if there's anything else, guys, I need to get out and shoot before I do that. So we got the two-tone thing here, which we'll do. Uh, rear axle drive. I want to find how the tires. Okay, so we have the tires. Oh, okay. So we can do two different tires depending on if we want white walls. We want white walls, guys. Oh, show. Oh, and there's hubcaps. Where are the hubcaps? Hubcaps in here? Um, okay. Where are the hubcaps? Guys, uh, I don't know if you saw hubcaps when we were doing this. I don't remember seeing any of those. Are they crumb? Oh, they are. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worry about the hubcaps, dude. 
Yeah, for sure, guys. We're gonna we're gonna definitely do that. Uh, I don't. I hate those rims. Those rims look stupid. Okay, and blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you are putting the yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Like I'm gonna put this on there. <laughs> so, so if I was doing this in blue, guys, it'd be handy to have those decals. But we're not. We're doing it in red. So guys. We're gonna get set up, and guys, I have a whole lot of shooting ahead of me, which um, you won't be here for, but guys, when I come back, we'll, all the two-tones should be done, and it should be set up down in Spider Central for everyone to come take a peek at.
Okay guys, so there we can see that we have the um, main painting pretty much finished up guys. We're going to need to go back and do touch-ups on all of the bronze for the door panels. The light gray metallic looks like it came out pretty well. So we see that on the inserts there and also on the dashboard there and we're going beige on the seats those need to be redone I believe that's a bench seat there so I think I'm gonna need to redo this bottom part there guys that's why I didn't spend a lot of time on it uh, I have to retouch the light gray for the floors over there as you can see we got a lot of bleed through here especially on the bronze so the door panels are gonna be bronze we have a lot of bleed uh, from the bronze uh, just because I left everything on the chain while I shot it. There's the red engine, a little bit of black, a little bit of steel. And over here, again, more black and steel. So guys, that's going to do it for the painting. I'm not going to go through and show the two-tone or the detail work. I don't have a good way of... I haven't been able to figure out how to film the detailing work as of yet. Uh, I'm still working on that, but I don't have it as of today. So the touch-ups... And the repaints, um, I'm not going to include on here, guys. So from here, we'll be moving along to assembly. Okay guys, and we are back. And so guys, as you can see, I decided not to go with the two-tone. We went with the straight red metallic eyes, and there's a reason for that. You can see my mirror has fallen off. So guys, one of the big problems I was having with this thing is I switched over, I ran out of my normal hot glue, guys, and 
I just kept using the glass, the, the clear, optically clear drying glue. And it's an okay glue for if you have unpainted plastic guys, but it's not hot enough to, to bite into the chrome. And guys, I had a lot of trouble after I ran out of this. So that was a mistake on my part, guys. Uh, I fully admit that. I definitely should have went back to the hotter stuff. Uh, it's what I'm used to dealing with, and I should have I should have stuck with that, guys. So, uh, and I'll get to the reason. I'll get to the reason why I skipped the two tone guys here momentarily. There was a whole ton of touch ups on this thing, guys. I spent a lot of time on this. I did not spend enough, and I've got to find a way to get to what I want it to be faster because I run out of patience, guys. Uh, and you can see there. Uh, I'll get close up guys and I'll, I'll point out where some of the mistakes are, but there are some There's some minor errors in here guys where I should have Retouched it up a final time and cleaned up it especially on the moldings, but Overall guys, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I modified the wheels uh, Quite a lot guys. So those are not I don't even think they're Chevy rims that I put on there uh, I like that. I like that rim style, guys. I believe I got that from a Dodge kit of something or other. Um, I know I used those wheels on Challenger once before, guys. You can see that the bumper is the front bumper is not straight. Uh, that's also kind of an issue, guys, as well. So, what I think I need to do, guys, to really get to the next level, and I'm going to be trying, guys, to enter competitions. Probably not this year. Probably will have to be next year, guys. 2020, hopefully. If I if I can get better at this. But you can see here, guys, the molding is just really, really choppy. Uh, and the, the, the window molding as well, guys. I should have retouched all that. I don't know if you guys can see. The glue errors, I think, are coming through a little bit there, guys. So we did the full engine, guys. I did most of the parts. So I deleted very little on this. I wanted to keep it as, as good as you know, as intact as possible. Uh, the front, the bumper actually reads okay here, but you can see it clearly is not situated correctly here, guys. I ran into problems with one of the white walls, guys. You can see that. I don't, I don't even know what happened to that, why that got so chewed up. And, of course, the molding here, guys, could definitely have been done a lot better. Had a little trouble with the glass lining up here, uh, which I actually did not notice until right this second, guys, when I'm showing you all this. So this one is basically just going to be used as part of another display. So it's not, you can see the back bumper uh, had a lot of problems keeping this um, registered correctly. I got to actually have to tear this off. I have to tear this off and do this over, guys. Um, yeah, there it is. Maybe it'll hold like that. We'll see. Just a lot of funkiness, guys. Uh, I changed the colors, guys. You can see in the back here a little bit. This isn't supposed to be gray. Uh, I added brown. I added a bronze, which is reading really dark, guys, for some reason. I left the steering wheel white, guys. You can see the dash. The dash came out, as almost always, as one of the better parts of the entire car. Dash is actually really, really good. So, again, guys, there's good parts and there's bad parts to this. I think probably in hindsight, what happened, so what happened with this guys was why I decided to stick with the red because I decided this was a really gorgeous, uh, and it is, it's a beautiful red metallic guys. I decided that I should stick with this color. And the reason why was I'd forgotten about this, but back when I was younger guys, I always sort of had this idea, I guess, in the back of my head that it'd be really, really fun to get in a car and just drive around and make a bunch of money or whatever, and then go just enough to go drive to the next place. So just, just basically driving around in a, in a car, you know, or a, or whatever. And most people were doing that in campers, that idea, and I'm sure I got it from a book when I was younger. So guys, the car I always had in mind was a Chevy Nomad. It was, it was literally this car. Mine was that I had in my head as a '57, um, and I couldn't find that guys. Like I said, started this, but this one as a '56 was good. And so the reason I stuck with the red is because that 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 image in my mind's eye, guys, that car was always red. 
Now it was a little bit more of a faded red, like you'd have a candy apple red and then the paint would fade over time. And that was kind of what I had in my head. But I love these cars from the second I saw them, guys, these Nomads. And that was, I don't know why this car, but I, I think it was because I figured you could just make a sleeping compartment back here, you know. And that's what you could do is just sleep in the car. And, of course, now, guys, modern times, <laughs> I would never consider that because you would just almost certainly roast in a lot of places. You know, it, just, it would just get too hot inside the car. You know, these things didn't have air conditioning. There wasn't anything like that. So, you know, if it was, a, if it was an actual car that was uh, stock in any way, you know, you, you probably would find that unenjoyable. And, and, you know, this one I modified a lot. The color I had in my mind's eye for that car was a, uh, like I said, more of a candy apple red. It's a, a lot lighter of a red, a lot brighter of a red. This one I like, but you can see, guys, where I stopped and started painting because I was going to do two-tone, guys. If you look carefully enough, you can see it. And what happened was is, is I, I had that image, and I'm like, i got to make that car. I'll make, I'll make a two-tone something else someday, you know, is, is what I was thinking. And I'll just save the two-tone for a different vehicle, guys. So I shot this in Spider Central in a room that's kind of a cold storage room. There's no light in there. And I shot it at night, and I couldn't see anything. So I'm I'm pleased that it came out as well as it did for all that, guys. But that was not a uh, not a good decision on my part, guys. So after my huge layoff, guys, and and I talked about this in a lot of the 2018 videos. After my layoff, guys, getting back into it, I'm, I'm having to not only relearn some stuff. But I'm having to learn stuff that I didn't know initially. And I'm developing a process for these things, guys, which I'm pretty excited about. Once I have the process in place, guys, I shouldn't be running into more fail. Guys, last year there was two fail videos. This year I've already recorded one at the time of this recording. I have not posted it yet. Hopefully there is only one this year, and next year hopefully there will be zero in 2020. But... Guys, I'm still, I mean, that was a huge layoff. That's a, probably a three-decade layoff, guys. So that I'm able to get stuff that I can still display and I don't have to replace, I'm happy about. But I definitely, there's definitely a lot of stuff I could be doing better. And trying to fix all the stuff that went kind of kitty wampus on this one, guys. To get this as a car that's not a fail, uh, I was pretty pleased about, guys. I could have definitely done more. And I think, you know, like I was saying, I think probably the next step I'm going to have to take is an airbrush. Uh, because I, I seem to, a lot of times, do a little bit better with being able to hold my hand steadier with a, with a, with a airbrush than I do with, with the regular brush, guys. But again, I'm still kind of refining that process, too. And I might just stay with brushes. To give you an idea of how little I know about airbrushing, I didn't realize until shortly be recording this segment, you needed an air compressor. So I have, a, I have an airbrush that I got for Christmas, but I have no air compressor to actually drive it. So whether I want to take that next step or not, I'm still kicking that around the uh, the old table here, guys. So I definitely, if I, if I do get into that, guys, for sure you will see this. But I need to do more research. I need to know if I can still use all the paints that I'm using now because color is pretty important to me, guys, on a lot of this stuff. So guys, one of the other things... And I'm glad I just brought that up. <laughs> but one of the other things, guys, is I didn't go through the colors I was using on this. And part of the reason is because I don't know if people are interested in that. Guys, if you're watching this, leave me a comment and let me know if you would like me to go through all the colors I'm using. So, for instance, guys, there's, there's quite a few colors on here. There's that red metallic, guys, which is... Most of the outer shell, we have a beige on the inside, we have a bronze on the inside, we have a lot of chrome, uh, we have uh, the, the Chrysler engine red for the most part in there, we have black, we have got, this is a light gray guys in the back here, but it also has metallic on the seat facers. We have in here, we've got the amber of course, we've got, uh, this is just uh, black, oh there's a steel in there guys, there's steel also like on the master cylinder. 
Uh, if we flip it to the bottom here, we've got course engine red, we've got uh, chrome on the exhaust, we've got steel for the gas tank, and uh, you know overall this is German gray here. This kind of irritates me guys. I get frustrated when I do stuff like this. I didn't pay enough attention and I've got this huge white stripe underneath there. Uh, I also modified the tires guys so it looks like this has all disc brakes now. And I had to do that of course to make the rims fit but I, I like that look. Here you can see guys where I had a little bit of trouble with some of the gluing here guys because the, the, the uh, shell didn't fit the uh, chassis part correctly guys. So stuff like that I just need to find a good way of being able to fix that. Honestly gluing has presented more problems for me than any other part of the process. And that is something I don't think is ever going away guys so I just need to learn how to accommodate that. But back to what I was saying, if you guys are interested in the in me doing the um, the paints that I'm using, guys, if you're interested in that discussion, guys, leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, I didn't include it. Usually I try to include it. I didn't this time, but I'm just interested in, if that sort of thing is of interest to you guys. I try to include the painting when I can. A lot of the time these these paints are actually covered over on the, um, on the paintball itself, guys, so I can't always show you close-ups. But guys, let me know. Just let me know your feelings on that. I would be interested in hearing that from you. Uh, anyway, though, guys, I think this is going to do it for us this time, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this look at the 1956 Chevy Nomad, guys, from Ravel, guys. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of the latest content that goes available, guys, including more of these builds guys I I only have two more that I really need to do for my displays in my office and I should have those done this year but I'm not gonna stop moving forward guys with these because these these are really 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 fun to do and some of the older ones that are beat up and stuff like that once the star of our show if he's interested in that once he gets a little bit older guys I'm going to introduce that to him and, and see if he's interested in, in trying to try his hand at doing some of the repainting and stuff like that, guys. So a lot of those, I'm never going to be displaying them. And, you know, those are really good blueprints, guys, for when you're learning. is stuff that there's no real danger of having anything fail because it's already something that's not going to be usable. So the, the only thing that you really can have, guys, at that point is success. Either you're going to learn something or you're going to make something really good. So definitely don't pitch the models guys that you aren't successful with because you can always come back to them later and start working on some techniques such as guys how to fix paint errors and how to touch things up when the car is already completed which is in the case of this that white area underneath the drive shaft it's hard enough that it's not worth the bother for me but it's not impossible guys I could definitely get more German gray under there again that's a, that's a lesson I, I seem to have to keep relearning guys is to is to make sure that I'm looking through all of that a lot more carefully and this one I did better than the last one but I'm still not anywhere near where I would need to be especially to do competitions guys so and I haven't done a model I guess since I came back to this the guys I think is perfect so Definitely a goal. Uh, guys, you can also follow us on our Twitter feed. The display for this will be up on the Twitter feed, as well as new content, guys, as it comes up. I, I usually put it there. Guys, a lot of you have left comments. I appreciate that. I appreciate the conversations and your thoughts. Guys, with those comments, a lot of the times I, I discuss the paint choices and things like that in the course of the video. So somebody is commenting, well, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. If you are saying those things to me, you guys, generally it means that you're not watching the video. It means that you're not watching the video all the way through because a lot of that gets answered. And a lot of these are very specific choices, guys. So I encourage you to, to go all the way through the videos. I know sometimes they get longish like this one is getting. But guys, a lot of the, usually I put all the design thought into the car before I start. For this one, for instance, I was not planning on having it be just all red all the way through guys but again 
the car spoke to me of that earlier thought that was in my head when I was younger. And I felt like I really needed to build that car. Because that, that's been a car that, that's been in my head for a while. And it left partially, but guys, it was, a, it was pretty prominent when I was younger. And I'm actually thrilled to be able to build that car. And I think it would actually probably look a little bit like this. A little bit rough, a little bit choppy. I don't even think the paint would be as good as this is on that car, actually, guys. So it was, it was, it was really kind of cool. I mean, a lot of this is reconnecting with what I did when I was younger, and this was really cool in that respect that it that it actually fit that as well. But guys, a lot of my color choices and a lot of things like that are conscious decisions that I make at the start, particularly when it comes down to paint choices. This is very rare in in the context of me deciding that I needed to dramatically change something in the middle of doing it. And I don't recommend that guys. And it made this a lot more complex. So anyway, guys, though, I, we do like hearing from you guys. So if you do have things to say, I do read every single comment that comes through. So feel free to shoot us over something guys, if you are so moved. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.